is only war. What is up, gents? 40K Dirtbags here. We are doing a how to build. Not really. We're just doing a bunch of lists for Death Guard. So uh, there's a lot of shit. I actually met one of the Death Guard uh, dudes at a local store uh, yesterday, which was really cool. Uh, he's like, "Oh shit, I didn't know you were local." I was like, "Yeah, dude, I'm actually uh, right outside, right outside Philly." But um, we uh, we're gonna talk about some lists. So they're not. They're the ones that I've been thinking about. I've been making lists ever since 10th edition. I've been making a Death Guard list, Chaos Space Marine list, and Greatnet list. Uh, Sisters, uh, I'm going to do a review as well as Custody. So those two are coming up next. Uh, but we wanted to make a bunch of lists so you guys can actually start testing out some different uh, flavors and, and, and ideas and, and tactics. So that way you can kind of see which tactics you like to run and then focus more on that type of play style. So there's going to be a whole bunch of different style of lists in this video. So let me know what you guys think about it. If you guys are new to the channel, appreciate you guys clicking on the video, go check out some more videos and then come back, uh, and like subscribe, do all that, all, do all that shit. If you guys are interested in the competitive scene, we do have a competitive dirt bag, uh, on Patreon. You guys get to message me one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, we go over list ideas, tactics, all that stuff, trying to get you better at the 10th edition. And then we're doing a, a Patreon giveaway uh, that's going to be coming up once we hit 500. We're about 60 away uh, from getting that goal. We're going to be doing a live stream, drinking, questions, giveaway, a bunch of shit. So right now, this is just uh, uh, to start. We're going to be adding more boxes uh, along the way. We have about two, three weeks, I'm estimating. Uh, then I go on vacation, and then when we come back, I'm sure we're going to hit it by then. And then we're going give, to be giving away all this stuff for free. So if you guys are Patreons, you have different... Uh, Tickets, Grandmasters get 25 tickets, uh, competitors get 10, um, uh, just cards get five, and then everybody else gets one. Uh, we're going to be giving away a combat patrol box for Grey Knights. We're giving away two old school metal Grey Knights, which uh, don't make anymore, but I still use them to today. So they're really cool just to kind of have on the table. We have, then we have a 10 man box of, of uh, strikes, which you can be using for almost anything. Like we need strikes for this new edition. And then we got three Mythic Blight Haulers, one in a box, two put together brand new. Uh, we have a bunch of stickers we're going to be throwing in with the dice uh, packages. We're giving away as much as possible we're going to be doing some sister stuff as well as some custody stuff uh, and chaos space marine stuff so all the armies that we play uh you guys are, are subscribed because of that but if you want to just get better uh definitely go ahead over to patreon we have our own patreon discord uh in the discord so you guys get to talk to me uh in there so let's get into the video uh first off the lists i have copy and pasted over from the app that just came out app's not bad i i like it it's it's pretty Easy when you're counting points, not easy when you're doing gear. Because you have to kind of like get rid of a bunch of stuff and add a bunch of stuff. Like the Plague Marines take me a while to figure out what the fuck everybody has. So just assume that whatever you want to put in your list, you know what's legal. So either just do melted guns or plasma guns or blight launchers or whatever. Just make it your own thing. Uh, and once you figure it out, just copy and paste. Like you can duplicate that list or that unit into another one. So that way you don't have to do it every single time. Just make one five man or one 10 man and then just duplicate it. And then you're good to go. So uh, I think we have five lists to go over, four or five lists. So we're just gonna go straight down. Uh, I'm gonna put a, a paste bin uh, so you guys can see all of these. You can copy. Run it, play it, test it, do all the fun stuff. So first off, we got Lord of Virulence. Uh, we're, we're basically gonna be bringing him for the Plague Marine, or Plague Burst Crawler, so that way you get plus one to hit and ignore cover. Uh, and then you pair him with Morty, so we have a bunch of Mortarian lists, and then one list without Mortarian, so you guys can kind of figure out which one you wanna do. But with Mortarian, you're gonna ignore all the out of line of sight shooting, all the negatives to hit, all the negatives to wound, um, minus one damage, you're ignoring all of that as long as they're within six inches of Mortarian, which is the goal of this list. Uh, then the Lord of Virulence is gonna be combined with somebody that's gonna come in from Deep Strike. He comes down, Deep Strikes, uh, shoots a bunch of stuff, full rerolls, and then all the blast weapons uh, are gonna get the plus one to hit and ignore cover. So that's the goal with this guy. We're getting him in the Drowning uh, because we had some extra points. Uh, and then we have Mortarian. Obviously, he's just insane with the uh, cover saves to everybody. Two up, four up. Toughness 12, five up field of pain. Like, just a monster. Uh, can be blocked by uh, Ruins now, so that's pretty cool. Then the battle line, we have a 10-man Plague Marine unit. Like I said, you can do whatever weapons you want. Um, I just kind of copy and pasted all of these. So we have Plasma Gun on the, on the leader. He has a heavy plague weapon, and then we have two blight launchers, uh, four heavy plague weapons, 
and then two melting guns and the rest plague knives. So you can do melt guns or plasma guns, it's up to you. Uh, but basically you're gonna have a really beat stick unit as well as just another unit. So this 10 man, you wanna pair them with uh, you know people. So this list I think just has, yes. So this one is as simple as you possibly can get. All right, so this has one, two, three, four, five. So just 10, 20, 30, 35 Plague Marine units or models, 35 Plague Marines. Uh, you could do again melters or plasmas, whichever one you see fit. We have six Death Shroud Terminators to go with the Lord of Vir Virulence. Virulence. Um, so he's going to come down full rerolls uh, to wound on all of their Plague Spurt gauntlets. The leader, remember, you can actually get an extra Plague Spurt gauntlet, so make sure you put that in the app. Uh, and then we have pl three Plague Burst Crawlers. And that's it. So that that's the list. It's basically just troops everywhere. Mortarian, all the out of line of sight uh, shooting with the plague burst crawlers, or in line of sight shooting because if they're right behind Morty, they're gonna get all the all the buffs. Uh, and then we have the six Death Shroud Terminators. So all of that is just super simple. I made it as simple as possible for you guys. This. It's not that much. Like play Marines, obviously you guys should have a ton of pillar. If you need to proxy this stuff, you, I'm sure you have other stuff that you can proxy with it. Uh, play versus crawlers would be the only really investment because they're fucking huge. Uh, but you only need three of them to max out the play versus crawlers in your army anyway. So really cool. I'm going to test out that list because it's super simple. This one is the one that I'm probably going to be testing out first. So this is uh, combining the combination with, uh, what should I call it? The Icon Bearer and the Blightbringer. Okay, so this combo is really what I wanna test out to see if the Plague Burst Crawlers with the um, Battle Shock test and minus two to, to hit and stuff like that, like that is really what I wanna test out with this list specifically. So we have the Death Guard Icon Bearer. Uh, once per game, you can do the extension of the uh, ors. So the drowning is just extra 10 points that, you know, we just have in case we can do some mortal wounds. Uh, but he is with the Noxus Bloodbringer. Noxus Bloodbringer has a living plague, so it's an extra three inch on the aura. So you do the uh, once per game aura of 12 inches, and then you extend it three inches, that's 15 inches away. So basically these guys combine 15 inch aura of minus two leadership and combat attrition tests. Um, seems good. <laughs> we have Lord of Virulence, uh, that's going to be with the Play Burst Crawler combo like we talked about. Mortarian, obviously, uh, because they're not really going to be focused on this guy and this guy. They're going to be focused on fucking Mortarian uh, right in front of their face. Then we have Typhus. Typhus is in there. I really want to test out Typhus. I think I love the model. He's got a fucking big smite every single turn and he can make pox walkers and he can join a pox walker unit. So I really love the pox walkers. I was running Terminest uh, for a while before they fucking nerfed it. Uh, but Typhus is in this list because he is a beat stick and he's going to be running with the uh, uh, pox walkers, just trying to extend the threat range make some pox, pox walkers and then charge. <laughs> so that's Typhus. Uh, two play marine units. You can have a plasma gun or melted gun, um, heavy plague weapon, two heavy plague weapons, blight launchers. So basically the same, you can have one plasma, one plasma, one plasma, basically same unit, just two five mins. They're gonna be going in the Rhino. So the Rhino with two plague marine units with the Noxus Blightbringer and the Death Guard Icon. So it's a 12 man unit. Um, they can basically move up 12 and get out three and then the extension 15. So yeah, let me see when you could do the extension. Yep, perfect. At the end of the movement phase, uh, you can use this ability if it does start your next command phase. This model is treated as having contagion range of 12 inches. Then you extend it by three on top of that um, because of living plague. So now he's at a 15 inches. So 15 plus 15 because you move 12 and then you get out three <laughs> so you have basically a 30 fucking inch potential threat range for the contagion range so that means everything's within contagion range most of the time uh and it's minus one toughness so everything's gonna be easier to hit 
as well as uh, minus two leadership. So you're going to be forcing at least three Battleshock tests uh, from the Plague Burst Crawlers, not including some of the guns from these guys as well as the melee because it's till next command phase. So that's going to be lasting for an entire turn until you go until you come back around. So, uh, Death Guard Cultus. So that's just a uh, five, you know, easy, cheap Cultus unit to kind of just sit on some objectives. Then we have the five man Death Child Terminator or three man Death Child Terminators with the extra plague spurt gauntlet. Uh, Float of Blade Drones to kind of follow around Mortarian because uh, it's still really good. Then we have three Plague Burst Crawlers and a unit of Pox Walkers. So obviously Pox with Typhus, so that way he can move up and if he uh, if any of them are dead, he can then shoot with a psychic power, make some to extend you know, the, the threat range, and then they can charge. So that'll help kind of get him into combat pretty easily. So they kind of don't want to shoot him, but they want to shoot him. Because if they kill some poxes, uh, which I think I have like a five up fucking feel no pain now, uh, he can then just make them and then get a super easy charge. So I think that's going to be a good combo. Uh, if you want to play around, you can take the box walkers out, but I feel like them can hold out, hold down like a flank. So if they go left and Mortarian goes center with all the vehicles and then the right, you kind of just shoot the shit out of out of line of sight shooting. That's going to be kind of the combo of this list. So I really want to test out. This is going to be my main list. I'm going to test out first. All right. Then we have an engines build. So this is no really infantry, one unit. Everything else is just engines. We have the Lord of, of Virulence, just because we have the Plague Burst Crawlers. Uh, Mortarian, uh, Plague Marines, just kind of like chill back and be on objective. Just three man Terminator units to go with the, the Virulence. And then we got one, two, three Blight Drones. The Blight Haulers, uh, just a three man, so you can do some kind of like strats with them, so you don't have to do it. You can do three single units or one three man unit. I'm gonna test out the three man unit first and then we'll go into to three single units to see what the difference is. But that'll be that. And then three Plague Burst Crawlers. So this is just fucking tanky as all hell. Uh, three Plague Burst Crawlers, three Blight Drones, and three <laughs> Blight Haulers uh, with some random small infantry and Mortarian. This actually looks pretty fun to throw down on the table. I might do a video with this because I actually have all of these. Um, yeah, so we might we might run a video with this coming soon. That's the 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 list with uh, all the demon engines. So let me know what you think about that. This one is no Morty. So this list with no Morty. Uh, this is if you want to kind of test out some different characters and just run a shit ton of infantry with the Demon Prince. So this has the Bilish Putrefire. He's going to be in one of the um, units that uh, get a lethal hit of five. So basically, it's going to be a shooting unit most of the time. So he can do. He's going to go with one of this ten man unit, probably with the plasma guns, blight launchers. And plasma guns. So basically, you have three plasma guns, two blight launchers, and more plasma guns with a with a bolt gun. You can actually get rid of the heavy plague weapons and just go more bolt guns, which is probably what I would do. So this unit right here is just going to shoot probably on the second floor somewhere. Uh, you can pair him with the tally man because they're going to be pretty far back. You're shooting 24 inches away. Uh, the tally man is going to be able to hit on twos with that unit. And then the uh, Ballast Puch Fire is going to let you uh, lethal hit on fives. So that's going to be the combo is Tally Man, try and get you a CP, as well as the Ballast Puch Fire with the 10 man unit. You have the Demon Prince with obviously the extending of the aura uh, and feel no pain of six plus. So everything within turn one, six inches, then nine inches, then 12 inches, then 15 inches uh, is going to have a six up feel no pain. So basically, almost everything that you're going to have him near is going to have the feel no pain. So you got to be careful because he doesn't have lone operative or anything like that. So you could get shot off the table if, if you're not careful with him. He's pretty tanky, but still. Two up, four up, I think now. So Malignant uh, Playcaster. We have two of them in this list. Uh, they're going to be one as the Shamberlot. So that's going to help out with threat ranges. Basically, to charge this unit, it's minus two. If he gets his shot off, it's minus two to advance and charge. So it's minus four to charges with this unit right here. So this is going to be... Uh, a unit paired with probably the Plague Surgeon. So you have a Plague Surgeon with a Malignant Plague Caster and then a Plague Surgeon with a Malignant Plague Caster. So two Plague Casters, two Surgeons in 
uh, some units down here. So we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55 Plague Marines. Uh, they're both going to be in a 10 man. They could be your, um, your melted guys. So instead of plasma, you could do melted guns. Uh, then you still want all the, the heavy plague weapons that you can. Um, so like two melee melted gun units with the plague surgeon to bring one back every single turn. And then the malignant plague caster, uh, to slow units down. So you can have two units that are slowed by these two guys. Um, and two pretty tanky Plague Marine units with the Plague Surgeons in them. Tally Man we already went over. Typhus, uh, obviously we, we fucking love Typhus, so we're bringing Typhus in here. Because uh, we have 55 Plague Marines. <clears throat> and then we have Cultists, and then 20 Poxwalkers. So notice, really, no vehicles. This is kind of like Terminus all over again. But we have the Cultists just so that way they can, you know... Do, do they have the pregame move now? Yeah, so they gave us scout six. So having one of these probably for secondaries and in the mission being able to get a scout move of six off and then sticky objective is pretty fucking sick. Mm -hmm. So they're just gonna be able to walk up six. If you go first, boom, that objective is now sticky. They can just run off and go do something else. Um, that is why we're bringing in cultists. And then obviously the 20 box walkers with that extension of range mm -hmm. with Typhus, they can basically hold down their own flank with like a unit of plague marines. And then all the other plague marines kind of slowly hold the center so basically you're fighting over three objectives you have the center objective which most of the plague marines and the demon prince are and then you have the left objective which is going to be typhus and another unit of plague marines and then the back objective which is going to be just plague marines chilling out on the home objective blocking out the backfield so there's no deep strikes and everything's sticky so that is going to be the no morty uh shit ton of units walking across the table play marine list so you guys can tweak it like i said uh that's gonna be the last list but you guys can tweak it any way you want uh this is the first go around there's a bunch of units that i still haven't put into the list yet or tried out but these are gonna be the main ones that i'm trying out now uh we still have to test out the Hellbrute, uh the shooting bloat drone uh instead of the flesh mower the shooting bloat drone the predators the land raider uh, the Blight, Blight uh, Lord Terminators, uh, Lord of Contagion, the Terminator Sorcerer for the minus one to wound strat. That actually would probably be good in any one of these lists. So there's still a bunch to test out here, uh, but these are going to be the main go ahead to kind of run and see what your play style is, what you like to do, kind of tactics, getting used to 10th edition, and then tweaking it a little bit as you play from game to game, and then figuring out if you like vehicles, if you like infantry, if you like Morty, if you don't like Morty, um, but kind of just having fun and playing around with these lists. So let me know in the comments below what you like. If you guys are interested in the competitive scene, definitely go head over to the Patreon. Appreciate you guys who are already Patreons. Dirtbag Nation, we're growing, let's fucking go. We have the giveaway that, that was coming up once we hit 500. Um, on the patreon and yeah a lot of shakes coming up there's a lot of battle reports that we still have to record and get going but we're doing another one today uh and then another one later in the week um and then hopefully this weekend we'll get some more reports going i might do a, a me versus me video with death guard versus gray knights that should be uh fun to do but a lot of shit's coming up guys i really appreciate it good luck and we'll see you in another video soon